now joined by Kendall Milton, and we'll go ahead and get started with Anthony Dasher and Mark Weiser. How you guys doing? Hey, Kendall, good to see you. Uh, just kind of wondering, I mean, I know it's your, your second year in all that, but uh, I mean, um, when you're a young guy trying to trying to carve your niche, you go out to practice every day, you got all these other talented guys, there's the mayor, James, around you. Kind of, just kind of what is every day like for you as you try to kind of, like I said, just kind of carve your niche in this group? Well, you know, every day, you know, it's fun. You know, we understand the talent that's in the room. We understand the, the skill that we have at running back, and it really pushes us every day to, you know, just better ourselves and just try to make the room just compete more every day because, you know, at the end of the day, we all got the same goal. We all got the same dream. So we just push, push each other every day and, you know, keep continuing, keep chopping to get that goal. Hey, Kendall, uh, what's been the kind of focus for you and, and Coach McGee uh, during these 15 spring practices to, to get better? What, what have you been uh, trying to raise your game at? Uh, I've been trying to raise my game uh, with the pass pro and uh, just trying to just trying to fill in all the gaps that, you know, I felt I kind of lacked uh, over the years that I didn't really get too much practice in. So, you know, at this point right now, I feel that uh, a lot of the weaknesses that I had, I feel like I, you know, put a lot of work in the off season and done a lot of things to be able to, you know, turn those weaknesses into strengths. So, you know, I feel like this off season, I've been able to kind of flip, flip the script a little bit. Thanks. All right, let's next go to Seth Emerson and then Connor Riley. Kendall, when you came to Georgia, you knew what you were signing up for. You knew that there'd be other talented tailbacks here and you'd have to compete with them. Um, still, what was it like last year? And how does that kind of guide you as you go forward in your, your Georgia career, knowing that nobody here seems to be, you know, the man all the time? Uh, you know, last year going through the season, you know, it was actually great for me. I, uh, I was able to learn a lot from James Cook and uh, Zamir White, just uh, sitting back and just, you know, just being a soak, just absorbing every day, just learning new things, learning, learning, you know, because going from high school to SEC, that's a that's a very big jump. So just sitting back, learning ways to be successful in my game on the field, uh, that was a huge blessing for me uh, as a freshman. Hey, Kendall, how much in the past year have you talked with Brock Bowers, you guys both coming from California and then obviously dealing with the pandemic during it? And how has he sort of looked this spring? Uh, you know, Brock, Brock Bowers, you know, California product, you know, I love it. Um, Brock, he's been looking really good. He's getting better every day. And, you know, I'm just glad to see, you know, a guy from my side because there's not a whole lot of um, people on this team from California. It's good to see somebody from my area kind of balling out and everything. So I'm just glad to see him getting better every, uh, every day and just taking this game serious. All right, up next, let's go to Mike Griffith and then Dean Leggy. Mike, you muted. Yeah, the, I guess uh, not sure where to start, but the biggest adjustment from high school to college, and just how, how shocking is it that that you're the guy in the room that doesn't have a touchdown yet, despite some of those runs you had last year? Uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's too shocking or anything. Uh, for me, one thing that I've uh, kept in mind, you know, everybody has their time. God has their time for everything to happen. So, you know, when it's my time to cross that end zone, then it's my time. But until then, just keep working every day and just trying to be the best person back I can be. And how much is the weight now? What are you up to? Or down uh, to I'm at about 220 right now. Okay, thank you. Kendall, how do you uh, give yourself the best opportunity to have a breakout season in 2021? Um, I say I just, you know, watch a lot of the film from last season and just, like I said, just try to keep focusing on the weaknesses so I can go out there on the field and be able to take care of everything that, you know, because when you get on that field, it's a, it's a fast game. A lot of stuff's getting thrown at you from a whole bunch of different angles. So um, I would say just being able to, the weaknesses I had last year, just make those strengths and go out on the field and just, you know, have fun at that point once you, you know, get everything hooked in. All right, up next, let's go to Chip Towers and then Jake Rowe. Yeah, Kendall, uh, uh, you know, we've heard a lot about vertical passing game and explosive offense and those kind of things this year. But, yeah, you know, I, just looking at the running back room and, and, and knowing uh, Munkin and Dale McGee, what are they telling you about, about how running backs are still going to be? Are they telling you running backs are still going to be a big part of what you guys do on offense? What do you think that will look like? In fall? Oh, man, no, but sure. This is Georgia's RVU. So I feel like the run game is always going to play a part in the offense. But, we're an offense that has uh, 
a lot of weapons all over the field. And with all those weapons, everybody wants to get the ball. So you got to make the scheme to where it fits everybody. It basically benefits everybody. So, you know, I, I expect we, we're going to run the ball, but I also expect we're going to pass the ball because of our, our weapons and everything we have on the team, especially on the offense. Kendall, you mentioned it a minute ago when, when you talked about being appreciative of, of being able to learn from James and Zamir. Uh, you know, Coach McGee talked with us before the start of uh, spring practice about the camaraderie in that room and how much he tries to hammer home the selfless nature of it. As somebody who's, who's one of the younger guys in that group, do you see that? Do, or, I mean, is it a genuine – obviously you guys are competing, but is there that genuine brotherhood there? And, and, and how much does that mean to you and the other guys? Oh, 100%. Um, the running back room is really – it's really a brotherhood. Uh, we hold each other accountable off the field, on the field, make sure we're all just handling business because at the end of the day, we all want to be successful. We all want to be able to take care of our families, you know, through this game and, you know, just just be great at what we do. So we have that whole brotherhood. Um, we have each other's backs, and it's fun being able to go out there and compete every day. Uh, even though you're all competing, it's still – you're still doing it with your brothers. So, you know, it's, it's been really fun being able to do that. All right, our last two, let's go with Palmer Toms and then Ryan Curley. Yeah, Kendall, you're the first guy from your signing class to speak with the media. Yeah, how much do you kind of take on a leadership role among your teammates and, and your classmates? Uh, I, I actually feel like I'm a great leader. Um, I've never been that, uh, that super, like, vocal person, you know, in practice. But one thing that I try to do is lead by example uh, through the workouts in the classroom uh, in practice. I've been trying to be a um, lead by example you know, throughout the whole thing, because I feel like, especially with the younger class coming in and new guys coming in, I feel that they they watch a lot of our moves, even though I'm not considered an older classman, they still watch our moves and what we do. So, you know, that, that's, that's one thing that I've been focusing on. Kendra, earlier you mentioned working on some of your weaknesses and trying to turn those into strengths. I know you mentioned pass pro, but what else? Uh, along with pass pro, being able to uh, work in the pass game with routes and everything. And, you know, I feel like those two things were the, those are the two biggest things I needed to improve going on in the next season. And, you know, with, with the help of Coach McGee and the help of the running back room, I felt that, you know, when I'm sitting in that backfield every 